Hey guys, Will from Tessin. Will from Tessin. And we're here with Nikki from Mad Cats with this kind of crazy cockpit. Yeah, it's a Clayton cockpit. Uh, we sell all these instruments individually, but you can also build it up as a complete cockpit solution for yourself. So, we've got a lot of enthusiasts, but also real pilots. Also, for getting your pilot's license, this is an excellent tool. Just good practice, right? It is, it is. So, what you have here is what you call your typical six pack. And those are the six basic... You got one of those, you know. Oh, you do? <laughs> uh, Not so much. The, the six-pack shows your airspeed, uh, your altimeter, your vertical speed, uh, your turn coordinator, and also horizontal uh, situation indicator. What that does is an advanced navigational tool. So basically, with this tool alone, if you fly in a zero-visibility environment, you'll be able to fly, navigate, and land the aircraft only looking at that without e ever looking outside the window. So this is a good way if you're already a pilot and want to practice because ILF, stuff like that, instrument, instrument flight, this is a good way to do it. That's an excellent way to do it, yep. Awesome. What flight simulator are we flying it's here? It's Flight Sim 10 or X okay. uh, from Microsoft with an expansion pack. And then we got an Alienware PC, top of the line, which you really need to run all this. This whole setup runs about 15 USB pucks. It requires <laughs> quite a bit of uh, CPU power to run it all on top of what the software actually requires. So Norm, Norm, do you feel ready? Like, I'm in the back of the plane He's here. Don't watch. kill me, Chan. Don't watch. kill me. So let's say you want to do an ILS landing into McAaron Airport. This is a navigation uh, uh, stack, so I know that the navigation frequency from landing at the main runway at McAaron is 110.3. So we activate 110.3 and the heading is 255. So you turn the heading to 255 degrees, which we'll have in a second. This is crazy. It will show you that the runway runs this way, the way of the arrow. It will also show that you're on the left side of the runway. So to get closer, you see when you pass the runway now, this mm -hmm. line will pass over the runway. So it shows the line shows you whether you're left or right of the runway. Let's see in a second. There you go. See how that moves? Oh, okay. I get it. So the yellow line is the runway? The runway, technically, yeah. So all you have to do is make the yellow line straight? Exactly. That sounds easier than it probably is. It is a little harder than it looks. Okay. The other thing you have is these two yellow points here. They will show you when you come in on the glide path will either be over or above the middle line. If they're above the middle line, that means you're below your glide slope to the landing. If they're below the middle, like, see, they just went, you just picked up the ILS signal there. Okay. They went below, which means that you're too high up for the glide path. Oh, to, to land at this exactly. point, you have to loop around. What are the chances of Norm successfully landing us with absolutely no flying experience <laughs> on a real flight simulator? Like, uh, this isn't a I'm sully moment, well. right? Uh, I've seen people do it first time. I'll okay. give him a 25% chance. I think that's being very generous. <laughs> a really good thing to do is uh, have plenty of time. So oh having boy. to go into a steep dive, kamikaze style, is not a good time. Uh, so We would have been screaming if we were in a real plane right then, right? So what you want to do is loop around while you descend. So think about a downward spiral. Slow, slow. I, I'm feeling real. Let's help him a little bit here. So let's take speed down, flaps down, let's take the long runway, you have a little bit more space. There. This is not looking good, people. Uh, uh. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Now the good thing, good thing to do is always do gentle like, kind of movements. I don't believe in gentle movements. All right. You can use your <laughs> pedals too to push it, turn the aircraft whoa, a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Pull up, pull up, stall, stall, stall. Oh, oh. Up that MD. Don't, don't hit the MD-80. Feels like we're coming in a little hot here. Also, it's kind of swirly. Oh my god, this is like the end of air. Pull up! Oh, oh my god. Actually, that's pretty good. Wow, this is... Whoa! And oh. now push with your toes, toe brakes. Brake, brake! Yep, that's it. You got it! Do you have the cheats on? No. Nicely this, this done, Chen! Well done. Well done, sir. Really well done. How much does this cost? Um, so you can buy the whole setup uh, to mount together without the show for, we have a special price online for $1,200. And that's at madcats.com or? Uh, Gameshark.com. Okay. Um, but you can also buy every piece individually for about $150. So you can kind of gradually build up, put gradually it in a rack or something up. like that. Yeah, a good starter package is about $250. They'll get you going, get you basics And that's down. yoke, rudder, throttle, stuff like that? That's yoke, throttle, and rudder pedals, and then you can gradually build onto that. Very cool. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.